Hey guys, so today we're doing an anti-haul and I, I told you guys on my channel that I literally never do dark eyeshadow and then somehow during this whole like going into autumn season I decided that dark eyeshadow is actually something I really enjoy. I don't know why. I don't know, I just really like it. I think it looks nice if I may say so myself. Also someone on Twitter was like, hey Angelica, you should dress and do your makeup like Taylor Momsen and she's, if you don't know, the one that played Jenny on Gossip Girl and she's also part of like a band. Oh, I can't remember what they're called. The something reckless, the reckless, oh my god, am I being stupid? I literally listened to her song today and I was just like, oh, you know what? She probably wouldn't wear this pink fluffy jumper, but she might have done this makeup, except she would probably do like a burgundy lip and I'm not bold enough to do dark eye and dark lip. It's either or. Let's get into the anti haul, but before we do that, social media, main channel in description, go follow me on there if you're into beauty tea and YouTube drama. And yeah, let's get into it. So we have this first thing. If you guys don't know, I mainly take all of my stuff from Trend Mood, uh, so she's always kind of on the screen. Okay, so Pat McGrath actually came out with this Christmas collection. So you have the big palette, and I actually found out it's $78. Um, I thought compared, you know, uh, she's got her 10 pan palettes, which are 100 and 20, I believe. So I assumed that if she comes out with an 18 pan palette, it's literally gonna be like 200 and something pounds. Turns out this one doesn't have any of the Blitz, Astral Blitz. You know, there's like special shades that Pat McGrath has. So it doesn't have any of those. So if you're expecting, like if you thought this was a bargain because it has those shades, it doesn't. This is just like regular shimmers and regular mattes. And I think there's only three mattes. So I just didn't get that palette, but she came out with her quads again. And I'm pretty sure at least there is like one special shade in each one of those quads. So I, I bought the three quads and I bought the highlight and I think I bought two lipsticks. I bought the red and nude sets. So they did them in sets uh, like pink, pink, red and nude. And I thought the red and nude is something that I would definitely use. And I've never tried a matte uh, Pat McGrath lipstick, but I know that's kind of what people rave about the most. So that's what I got. I didn't get the big palette. Um, I don't really see the need because I like Pat McGrath mainly for those shades. Like if I dip into a Pat McGrath palette, I am going to use one of those special shades. There is no way in hell I won't. And if it comes down to me using a different palette and then dipping into Pat McGrath, it's always for those special shades. It's never like, Mm, I just want to dip into this mat. <laughs> like that's not where I'm at with my life. So uh, that was expensive though. Like when I got to check out, I was like, really? That's the price we're charging here? <laughs> Fine, okay. I think I used some, I think I used Trend Mood's discount code because I couldn't think of anyone else that has a Pat McGrath discount code. And I was just like, fine, Trend Mood. <laughs> You're welcome, Trend Mood. I don't even know her name. What is her name? Mario came out with Makeup by Mario, the like, brand and he is if you guys don't know he is a makeup artist who mainly worked with kim kardashian and he also had a collaboration with anastasia beverly hills which is one of the most iconic like palettes they came out with and then he had a collaboration with kkw which is kim kardashian's makeup brand and now he came out with his own which made sense i mean if you have these like really successful i feel like what the most popular kkw palette is the palette with him like all the other ones are kind of forgettable but that one was actually semi you know like presentable so it would just make sense for him to come out with a makeup line now i was not intrigued when these pictures came out i mean i have these things 10 times over and then i watched a few reviews on this makeup and i'm just not that impressed i feel like there's nothing there right now that is like screaming my name like i need this right now but maybe once he comes out with like lipsticks or lip glosses you know that kind of stuff i'll be into it maybe a mascara that'd be quite nice i'm into like those staples now if, if a brand can do staples really well i'm here for it you know sol de janeiro is coming out with a body fragrance mist and I think it's in the, the same scent as the um, as the Bum Bum Cream, but I'm not sure. But it's a new fragrance. I know they're like super expensive. Like they're a super expensive brand. The Bum Bum Cream, I remember I went on like Cult Beauty and I was like, oh, Tauti told me that I should get the Bum Bum Cream because apparently it's amazing. How many times am I gonna say Bum Bum? I think that's how it's pronounced because everyone said it was the Bum Bum Cream. And I was like, I don't think, I don't think it's the Bum Bum Cream. And then I think I heard someone say boom boom and I was like that sounds more like it I think that's where we're at with life anyway she told me that I needed it when I called beauty and it was like upwards of like 50 pounds I was like I'm okay Tati but thanks maybe once I get to 10 million subs and get like a million views a video I might consider it but until then I'll stick to like lush that's like my luxury um, body lotion is like lush because I'm like oh that's kind of expensive next Wayne Goss is coming out with uh, new blushes and highlight duos. So he's got like a few things. Okay, so the only thing I'm really confused about is if you look at the shades, they don't really make sense. So I get this as inclusive in the sense of there is a light highlighter all the way to a deeper highlighter than there is a light blush through to a very deep blush. But tell me why the lightest highlight is with the deepest blush and then the darkest highlight is with one of the like medium blushes. 
like it kind of makes no sense to me and it makes it look like this isn't actually diversity but just more options for white people if that makes sense. like am i making sense because i feel like if this was actually about diversity and i'm not calling out wayne goss this could have just been like an oversight or this is just like a bad picture but the stark white highlight is with the berry blush so if it if a person of a deeper skin tone buys it for the blush they can't really use the highlight but then if they wanted one of the deeper highlights they would have to buy a blush that might not even show up on their face so it, it would just make more sense if the deepest highlight was with the deepest blush because then actually a person of a deeper skin tone could use it I, I don't think i've heard anyone bring this point up but when i saw it i was like that makes no sense to me <laughs> but i mean the blushes look amazing like the shades are really good the berry shade looks stunning but i know i would never get away with it so but then that highlight i could definitely get away with which is where my issue starts it's like if i can use the highlight but i can't use the blush then that means that duo is not for me but then it's also not for a deeper skinned person because they'll have like the opposite issue from me i don't know i think these could have been a, a huge hit they probably are going to be a huge hit because people are still going to buy them like who what am i talking about but it just didn't really make sense to me so melt's coming out with these cream contour stacks in those like magnetic stacks and they come in like this like lighter more cool toned shade but then there is some dark shades in there and then they came out with like a warmer more bronzy shade i'm guessing this is a contour and bronze but the thing is once again i can't buy either of these stacks because realistically i'd only be able to use about like one shade from each stack so it just doesn't make sense for me to spend money on four contour or four bronze shades to only be able to use one so unless you're an mua it just kind of doesn't make sense um i wish you could pick which stack bit you want like imagine if on the website they had like a i'm pretty sure someone already mentioned this and i'm like subconsciously stealing their ideas i think it was abby williamson anyway where you could pick like for example one bronzer one cream blush one cream highlight and then put them all into a stack so you'd have to you you get like three or four and then you just like select them and then you get the top and then you can just switch out the top with your different sets like you'd have like a powder set you could have like a eyeshadow set a, a cream stack and then you could just bring stacks with you but i heard this packaging isn't actually that good like it just flips open so probably not something you could travel with so that also just doesn't make sense i feel like maybe if they worked on the packaging to not be so flimsy that would make sense but i'm not sure what to tell you benefits coming out with this christmas set called california kissing club and it's got like five mini lip balms i've expressed opinions about benefit before first of all they're not cruelty free second of all their shade ranges suck Third of all, they never come out with anything interesting. And this is one of those situations. Like, yeah, the shade range is fine, you know. I don't think you can really mess up lipsticks, but, or lip balms even more so. Is anyone interested in Benefit? I'm wondering if I'm the only one, or if YouTube is like an echo chamber where everyone thinks that their opinions are like the universal opinions across the globe. Like, are people actually using Benefit? Do you see people in your everyday life talk about using Benefit? Do you see them using Benefit products? I'm just wondering. If benefit is actually making as much money as they used to or are they kind of getting pushed to the side but then i'm sure that there's like people that don't watch youtube that probably buy from benefit like they get their staples there like mascara or eyebrow stuff i don't know i'm just i haven't heard anyone on youtube really speak favorably of benefit for a long time so and the last time they did they were being paid for it like everyone was on that like everyone was getting like little products that they were like putting their face on and stuff yeah so Givenchy is coming out with this holiday 2020 collection I've actually tried something from Givenchy before it was like a little palette of eyeshadows and I just didn't end up using them because I think they belonged to my mum and I just kind of stole it for a little bit used it I, I did nothing special really so I just I don't know if I'd buy this I also hate hate these palettes that have everything in them like oh here's like a lip product and here's a blush and a highlight and, and a black eyeshadow right next to a blushy pink blush like who thought it would be a good idea right to put deep brown eyeshadow next to a highlight and a blush like obviously if you're going to dip into the eyeshadow it's going to go into the blush and then make your blush really muddy who thought that was a good idea genuinely and then that looks like um lipstick pans on the left like the powder from the blush is going to go into the lipstick and create like a a hard pan situation am i just confused about designer brands and makeup i, I feel like i'm just really confused <laughs> it cosmetics coming out with their heart shaped foundation brush again so i remember they had this one ages ago and then they discontinued it and i'm pretty sure kathleen light is one of like the representatives of this brush and she loves it and i remember she speaks about it a lot she uses it a lot whenever she tries a new foundation she's like i'm just gonna use this brush because i know it works and finally it's coming back so i kind of want to try it but i have enough I have enough brushes, you know, but I feel like I want to try it. Everyone raves about it cosmetics brushes. I think I have one. 
and I think it's fine. Kimchi's coming out with these uh, dual pans highlight things and I think they're doing that with blushes as well. Um, I think it's further down in my screenshots because they're, Kimchi's releasing stuff like nobody's business. Like people are talking about Colourpop releasing stuff again. Kimchi's coming out with stuff like every other day. Like every time I go on Trend Mood, there is a Kimchi product. I'm just very confused as to why that is happening. There's these Suva uh, palettes. So they have the Suva like uh, water, thingy liners and they have them in separate pots and I remember buying a pot once and then not using it because I keep on forgetting to do eyeliner and then they came out with these two palettes because I know people have been asking for palettes because it's more convenient to have like more than one product well, more than one shade in each palette and they're a bit smaller and I bought both of these because I have no self-control even though I still haven't used the, the formula like I had the formula to try it before buying like before committing to two palettes I had the chance to try out the formula and I didn't and I just went for these because I was like oh just add it to my basket they look really cool. There's some jewel tones in the like colorful yellow palette, uh, like that purple, the green, they look quite deep in, in, in the pan. And then the pastel ones are very nice, but um, I don't know why I didn't try out the formula before committing to 10 shades of these. <laughs> Revolution's coming out with these duo, trio, six pan things. That was a bunch of numbers that did not need to come out of my mouth. They are basically duos, but in like a three pan. You get what I'm saying. And there is a light, medium-ish, and then a deep for highlight blush bronzer. Uh, but these look like the cover effects ones is what I'm saying. Like they look like cover effects duos, but put into a three pan. They're split diagonally instead of like horizontally, but the like the pattern on the shimmery side is exactly the same as the cover effects one. So Revolution's back at it again. Like they could have just skipped out on the pattern, you know, like I just don't get it. Revolution's also coming out with these two palettes, but I heard that the formula in these specific palettes is really awful. So I'm not gonna do that, but you know, the quad looks nice. P. Louise is coming out with this. Ugh, why is it so big? Like, why is this palette? Why was that necessary? It looks like there is just a lot of the same shades, mainly when you start going into like the bottom right corner. It looks like the same deep brown that's gonna look the exact same on your eyes. Like there is gonna be no difference between a bunch of these shades. And I heard her packaging is bulky as it is. So when you have bulky packaging and then you add a bunch of unnecessary shades, you're just gonna have this huge palette that you can't store anywhere. I've just never been interested in P. Louise makeup. I know that like, you know, there's like the primers, there's like palettes. I've just never bought anything and I don't intend to when she keeps on coming up with like bulky packaging, you know? Elf's coming out with these lip balms in three new shades. They have like um, jojoba oil, vegan collagen, and they're $5 each. I think that's a good price because you won't get through these very quickly. And they kind of remind me of the Glossier Balm.com, uh, but the Balm.com is like 15, I think, or three for 30 or three for 25, something like that. So if you want like a more affordable version of essentially the Balm.com, then I think these Elf ones are really interesting and they're coming out with new flavors all the time. So that's really nice. Laneige is coming out with these two new sleeping masks for the lips. They're like one of the most popular products for Laneige. They're coming out with the lemon one and a mint one. I mean, these two aren't the flavors I would necessarily go for if I was buying one of these. I'd probably go for the other shades, well, the other flavors that they have, but these seem really, like the lemon one sounds quite good. I'm just not into mint products like that. Unless it's toothpaste or chewing gum or mints, I don't want it to be mint. Actually, I like mint tea and I like mint in my like lemonade, but that's about it. I'm going on a tangent now. Wishful, which is Huda's skincare brand, is coming out with a rose oil and it all sounds good and well, you know, carrot seed oil, like different, like rosehip oil, you know, just a bunch of oils. I kind of thought, oh no, I'm not gonna get it because it's probably gonna be really fragranced. I had a sample of one of her face creams and it was super fragrant. So I was just like turned off completely because it's so close to my nose that if it's a fragrance I'm not obsessed with, I don't want it. Like I don't mind fragrance in my skincare. I'm not one of those people where I'm like super obsessed about fragrance free, but I don't want it to give me a migraine. But then, I found out that this was like $70. I have rosehip oil from The Ordinary for like six pounds. I don't need this. <laughs> so M Cosmetics is coming out with new shades for the lip cushion, which is like a sheer, like a lip balm type thing. And those look very interesting. I still haven't put down an order for M Cosmetics and I've been waiting all the time for whatever reason. But at this point I'm thinking I might wait to buy more things until November. So Cyber Monday, because I feel like on Cyber Monday I can get a few things much, much cheaper. Of course, that doesn't mean I'm not gonna buy makeup until then, but I'm going on more of a low buy, not a no buy, but a more low buy until November. And then I can stock up on things that I've wanted for a long time. Like for example, M Cosmetics and stuff like that. Cause I bet people are gonna have like site-wide sales. The Hoax Spokes collection came out from Colourpop and I actually have it. It's what I'm wearing on my eyes. So this is what it looks like. It's so pretty. And they're like on the inside. And these are the shades. I used mainly this trio right here along with just lightening things up with these two shades at the top and then, you know, just kind of sticking to that. And this is the look 
I got. I think it's very pretty. And then from the collection, I also bought the three lipsticks. They're basically just all variations of red, burgundy, orange red, and then classic like true tone red. And that's all I got from the collection, I think. Yeah, that's all I got. It was supposed to come out September 30th, but actually it came out the day after because they had some Shopify issues where like customers basically overwhelmed the website. So I was kind of happy about that because I actually came late to the launch. <laughs> so I set like, an, I didn't set an alarm, but I put it into my calendar for 6 p.m. Because uh, that was the UK time that it was and then uh, I remember I went back up to my bedroom and I saw the calendar and it said 6 p.m And I looked at the clock and it was 6 45 and I was like, oh, it's all sold out Like I'm telling you this now it's all gone and I was so upset about it And then I went on the website just to test my luck and there was like weird weird things happening with the website And I went on the Instagram account and everyone was like, we can't get anything. And I was like I think I've been granted a second chance to get my hocus pocus and then they moved it to the next day so and i was the first one there i was like the moment it hit 6 p.m i was on that website so beauty bakery is coming out with this primer called the butter hydra silk primer and that for some reason grosses me out like i don't like touching butter i feel like it leaves this weird film on my fingers and i don't like touching it so this doesn't sound appealing to me also when i watch beauty news the beauty news girls mentioned that the like measurements on the side of the packaging how they're supposed to be like where you cut the butter they're all wrong so that kind of annoys me but as a whole i think this is cute and if people kind of like the aesthetic the vibe they're probably going to enjoy this and it sounds very nice it's a lightweight hydrating stick primer that provides your skin with a smooth canvas and extends the wear of your makeup it applies just like warm creamy butter and oh that makes me feel icky oh butter on your face oh, that just makes me feel all kinds of all kinds of ways but oh my god like the vibe of the primer sounds exactly what i want like i love a good hydrating primer but that still gives me length and wear but comparing it to butter just makes me ill oh, oh my god i can't okay anyway so this is clearly not for me but someone could probably enjoy this um when they're not a weirdo girl on is coming out with this stuff hmm, this looks like typical expensive makeup i'm just not interested in it ever trixie cosmetics is coming out with these new lipsticks and the packaging i love like all the hearts i think it's so cute but i have so many lipsticks and lip glosses and stuff then they're coming out with sprinkles i think red star glitters are just like i could get from like a craft shop like a diy shop because they're probably not eye safe either so it's just like because you can't have chunks that are eye safe because if it goes in your eye it's going to scratch up your eye but i think the packaging for the lipsticks and the lip glosses is amazing so i'm debating on this lipstick but i just don't know where i would get it because it's not on beauty be or cult beauty and i don't want to put an order for just a lipstick if I have to pay customs and stuff on it. Shroud Cosmetics uh, came out with a collaboration with Beauty Bean. They came out with like this palette with nine eyeshadows. There's four mattes, two duochromes, two shimmers and one metallic for $35. And it's amazing. So the ma it's a magnetic palette as well. So you can take stuff out. It's cruelty free, vegan, all that good stuff. And it's called It's Frickin' Bats. It looks amazing. I love these shades. I think they're so unique. And there's something that I just haven't seen like that combination. Maybe I've seen these shades separately, but not together. I think it's it looks amazing, but it sold out like immediately. So Sugar Pearl's coming out with these new single eyeshadows that you can buy. Is anyone really buying single eyeshadows? Like unless it's like a special formula from like an indie brand where you can like Cleona, um, that kind of a brand where you're buying like multi chromes and stuff like that. Is anyone actually buying just like plain matte single eyeshadows? Is that something that people are still doing? Because I do see Colourpop advertising their own like build your palette things. I'm just wondering, are people actually doing this? And should I be doing this? I don't think I should be doing this. Kat Von D, well, KVD vegan healthcare lifestyle beauty is coming out with this palette. Um, it's apparently inspired by 1970s glam rock stars. It's for $19, which is actually a decent price for KVD. This is a more cohesive color story. I actually genuinely think that. It's got like a lighter shade that you could use kind of as a, like a transition or set the eye kind of a thing. It's got like a nice orangey shade. It's got like a blue and then a gold, so it's got like a pop of blue, but this is a more cohesive um, quad than the other ones that they came out with. So this is a step forward, but let's make more steps forward. Then um, Mim Mitchell is coming out with his own makeup brand. And this um, like font reminds me of KVD for some reason, or Urban Decay as well. I'm waiting, so there is a sneak peek for components and trying to be just saying that it could be liquid lipsticks or glosses or liquid eyeshadows etc with like maybe some eyeshadow palettes and stuff like that i'm excited to see uh what he's coming out with bites coming out with new products so they're coming out with the agave um lip tint tin for 14 dollars uh, um some lipsticks some stuff you know <laughs> just like a bunch of things for christmas there are so many christmas collections coming out like this sigma one which kind of looks a little bit underwhelming i don't think i would want it then nabla is coming out with this clear 
plumping balm that amps up the lip volume. I can't read today and people also making these captions so unreadable, like just a bunch of words that just mesh together. This was actually sold out when I went on Beauty Bay, like immediately pretty much. So I'm waiting for it to restock. This could be quite nice uh, to put over like lip liner to make your lips look a little, you know? That's great explanations today, Angelica. You're doing an amazing job, sweetie. Morphe's coming out with a mascara, but the packaging kind of looks like the KVD mascara, right? Doesn't it look the same? Like the matte component? with the shiny writing on it. Recently people were doing like a little like conspiracy theory thing. So I went into the comment section for one of these mascara for Morphe posts and people were saying how recently Jacqueline Hill did a video where she was showing a haul from Sephora and Ulta, I believe. Um, and she just had like 30 mascaras. I don't know what person walks into Sephora and instead of going, oh, like I wanna try, like I understand she has money, like I know that much, but I don't know who walks into Sephora or any makeup store and picks out 30 or so mascaras, like one of each brand, unless you're doing like market research because you're never gonna get through those. She had like a basket of them. So people are wondering if she was just literally doing market research for Morphe. That'd be quite interesting. Milani's coming out with this um, lip balm called In The sh Shade? No, In The Flavor, a pumpkin spice. So it's like a, it's, it's a lip balm for 7 dollars if you guys want it. It's got a slight bronze shimmer and a pumpkin flavor. Dominique Cosmetics is coming out with six lipsticks and four lip liners, I believe. So it's called the Soft Focus Nude Lips Collection. These look quite interesting. These basically look like a more condensed version of what Jaclyn Hill was trying to come out with. I do still hope that Jaclyn Hill comes out with those lipsticks and now that I've got a beauty channel, I could actually, you know, buy the new ones and then see if they're actually good. I think it was Samantha Ravendal that said she still uses one of her Jack and Hill lipsticks, even though it has those little balls in it because the formula is so good and the color is nothing like she's ever tried before. So I'm kind of tempted for Jack and Hill to come out with her, you know, full set of nude lips. It looked like a really good idea going from super light to super deep. So I think Dominique Cosmetics is kind of coming out like a similar thing, but there's not as much of a range as with the Jack and Hill ones. Max coming out with the mascara. Max not cruelty free not trying their mascara. Byredo is coming out with new makeup. So it's got like the wonky packaging, like the lipsticks, mascaras, there's some color sticks, some eyeliners. I don't know why, but this doesn't interest me at all. Like I've seen this, I think the packaging is quite interesting. Probably people think it's quite like quirky and cool. Makeup products look just fine. Like they look fine, but for some reason, I'm just like, I don't feel the attraction, the bond, you know, the vibes. I just don't feel them and that's fine. Maybe it's not for me. Lime Crime's coming out with a few things for Christmas. It's coming out like a big palette and then a small palette, but I heard the small palette is a bunch of like really popular shades from their brand. So if you have any palettes from Lime Crime, you, you're just gonna double up on shades, which makes no sense to me. And then they're coming out with like unicorn hair, those vitamins, vitamins, some lip products. I've never tried anything from Lime Crime. I think I have one product that I got for free in like a gift box and it's like a small liquid lipstick, but I've never tried it. I've had it for like a year. So I have nothing to say about Lime Crime, but I just haven't bought from them because of their problematic past. I didn't buy from them then when I was like first getting into makeup and now I'm kind of like over it, I think maybe. I'm just a little bit bored. I haven't seen anything from them that's like, oh wow, this is really good. Lisa Eldridge is coming out with these velvet blush kits with like a little makeup bag and stuff. And I'm just wondering if you buy five of those kits cause you want all five shades, are you gonna get five different makeup bags? Like five of the same actually makeup bag or are you just gonna get one makeup bag? Cause otherwise that would just be crazy. Like if you actually just got like a makeup bag for every single lipstick you order? Or do you just get one? Do you specify that you just want one? I don't know, cause who would want five of the same bag? That's all I'm asking. That's the only concern I have. <laughs> but other than that, they look great. So Elf Cosmetics is coming out with these Christmas holiday 2020 things. They have a few sponges, a few eyeshadow palettes, nothing that I'm interested in. I've realized that in the past, Christmas collections have really gotten to me. They were like something that I was actually looking forward to. And now I'm just kind of like, I prefer the regular collections. I prefer regular things that brands come out with because they're less lazy. Stuff that you give as like little side presents to people or if you just buy them the whole collection because you're not really sure what makeup they're into. So you just buy them like a bunch of neutral things. Um, this is what that reminds me of. Sol de Janeiro is coming out with this Biggie Boom Boom Cream for $76. I don't know, maybe one time I'll just buy like the smaller size and just see what it's all about because people have been banging on about this for ages. It's got notes of salted caramel and pistachio. I mean, that sounds amazing, but is it $76 amazing? I'm not sure about that. BH Cosmetics is coming out with Christmas stuff and that palette looks just like last year's Kylie Cosmetics Christmas palette. 
like in the red packaging and then there's like a smaller palette and then some highlights i think brushes i'm not really interested in any of this but if these are your vibes this might be your thing however like for example the highlight palette i couldn't use that second shade from the left i could use the other ones but like what's the point if i can't use a quarter of the palette so there's just a few things i'm kind of like mm, i don't want this uh black moon cosmetics coming out with the urban myth palette i think black moon cosmetics is also an indie brand it's going to have these like duo shades kind of so it's got like yellow with like a yellowy shimmer green with green blue with blue purple purple and then like a brown and then like a red so this looks quite cool i just i felt i couldn't really do a look with this if that makes sense unless it's like a one shade look right so you just do like purple everywhere and then a purple shimmer and that would be the look but i have other palettes for those kind of looks so i'm just not interested in this natasha Denona is coming out with this small palette it's part of the holiday collection and this is a warm toned palette for 25 dollars i've never tried any natasha denona eyeshadows and the thing that keeps me from buying stuff is the fact that people say the formula changes all the time so some of the small palettes aren't the same formula as the big palettes and then some of the mid-sized palettes aren't the same as the like large large palettes i'm like i don't know what to buy to actually get like a true taste of the natasha denona formula and some of her palettes for no reason there are so many shades that would look exactly the same on your eyes like the recent glam palette like the cool toned one though that could have been a nine pan you know like there's only so much difference that you can see on your eyes between like a champagne shade and a slightly more cool toned champagne shade like it just i just feel like there hasn't been anything that would really get me to buy from natasha denona and i've heard the formula isn't actually worth the money the way like pat mcgrath is for example right so natasha denona is also coming out with two lipsticks and a highlight the highlight looks really good but i just bought the pat mcgrath one and i have a bunch of highlights so is this something i need in my collection probably not it's 42 dollars I'll pass maybe <laughs> but we'll see there's a body polish which is like a body scrub in like the fragrance of coconut it's from the brand called herbivore it's 100 natural body scrub that gently exfoliates and moisturizes the skin with coconut milk virgin coconut oil and sugar and that sounds quite interesting but it's 36 dollars and scrubs in my case you have to use them in the shower and then a lot of that falls to the ground and you're wasting a bunch of it so i feel like out of 36 dollars i'd end up getting like 12 so maybe not i don't know but this sounds really interesting like coconut scents are amazing so um if this was like lotion maybe like i said kimchi's coming out with these duo blushes i'm really intrigued by these i think they look amazing but mainly that like hot pink and orange like i probably could not pull it off but oh my god is it good how good does that look ofra is releasing this palette for 32 dollars and i think this one looks amazing this one's one of the only ofra palettes where i'm like oh i'm actually kind of interested in this but doesn't it kind of look the same as what i have on my eyes like the green the khaki green with like an orangey browny shade but this looks amazing so i'm tempted by it if it comes to beauty bay it's probably going to be in my wish list for a while until I decide if I want it or not. Then Midas Cosmetics coming out of the pastel collection. So there's like a pastel palette for lighter skin tones and then one for deeper skin tones. And I think these are really good. Like they're little six pans. You get the shades that you need. You get a red, you get a pink, a yellow, a blue, green, and like a, you know, so you, like a champagne-y silvery shade. They are $16 each or $30 for both. I think this is a good deal if you're looking for a pastel or a bright colored palette or both. I think this is a good choice and not for me because i have a bunch of those shades but for someone it is okay so these are things that i'm actually interested in so there's this one called divina cosmetics or divina cosmetics i'm not really sure kind of like cleona as well where they make these multi-chromes um they're like 13 dollars each i think cleona ones are a bit more expensive but they're always out of stock <laughs> i went on the website the other day and not a single shade in stock not a single shade I'm happy for them, but I did not a single thing that I could have tried. These are super amazing. Mainly like, um, I was going to say mainly and start naming shades I really like, but I like all of these. I would buy these in a heartbeat. Nomad Cosmetics is coming out with this palette and I think it looks so cute. However, I'm wondering if this is a summer collection or something that was supposed to be a summer collection, but because of the situation in the world, it's coming out now because these aren't really like autumn winter shades not that it really matters because at the end of the day you can wear whatever eyeshadow you want at whatever time of the year that you want this looks really nice actually this has like the right shades i just have these palettes like a bunch of times over because I, I feel like everyone has like a bunch of warm tone palettes but i think this looks really amazing ofra is also coming out with this palette which also looks interesting i love the jewel toned green in it and also that shimmer shade on the left side looks amazing and then the shades in the middle look great but it's essentially this like essentially this in a palette so i'll pass but it looks good I like this from Ofra. Colourpop came out with this taupe collection in snake packaging and I bought the whole thing. I've never bought a whole Colourpop collection before, like just pressed 
add the whole collection to my cart, like the set that they have. I've never done that. And I did it with this because I'm on the hunt for a cool toned palette. And I bought these two because I was on a hunt for cool toned palettes. When the Natasha Denona Glam palette came out, I bought this one and this one. So this is like a more neutral brown palette. Looks amazing. And then I bought this one, the Making Moves palette, because it's basically a cool toned pink. And I can, you know, I can mix them up or just use them separately. And now with the taupe palette, I'll actually get a Natasha Denona dupe. So yeah, I'm actually really excited about this collection. I'm excited about the highlights and the super shock shadows, like the singles, the glosses look amazing. This whole collection just speaks my name and the packaging. I know some people are like, oh, like Animal Prints tacky and some people don't like it, but I'm in love with this collection. That will be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, comment down below, anything you wanna comment down below and subscribe to this videos every time I think of something to do. So hit that bell, you know to when that's happening. Social media links, main channel, affiliate links, any other links in the description. I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.